टूडे इज लेक्चर इलेवन लॉ ऑफ सप्लाई इन उर्दू वी कैन से कानून रसद टूडे वी विल डिस्कस थियरी बिहाइंड द सप्लाई कर्व डेफिनेशन ऑफ द सप्लाई कर्व सप्लाई एंड स्टॉक डिफरेंस बाय द स्लोप इज अपर स्टॉपिंग एक्सटेंशन कॉन्ट्रेक्शन एंड एजम्पन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we will have the definition so law before the law of supply remember one thing uh, you should know the difference between the supply and the stock so the stock means the total quantity available in the market or in the uh, godams or in the store rooms or uh, anything or the place where uh, a seller can can put his product and until unless he will not offer his product for sale it will not be considered as a supply it will be considered as a supply only and of only if the seller will offer his product for sale at the prevailing market price so uh, first of all the law of supply law of supply always explains the positive relationship between price and quantity supplied and uh, when you will study the law of supply you have to study it from the producer side this is the uh, supply function that quantity supplied the function of price cost of production technology uh, expenditures on the production etc etc and same in the as case in the law of demand we take all these terms as a constant in respect to its purpose which means remains fixed which will not change because if they will change uh, the law will not hold holding these all factor fixed we will study the only the relation between quantity supplied and the price of a commodity and we will see that if the price of a commodity will increase supply will tend to increase why simply because the profit of the producer will increase for example if i will say, explain it that uh, uh, a seller is selling his uh, product if uh, let's say at 10 rupees and if the price of the product becomes 15 simply we can say that the profit of the producer will tend to increase when the profit will tend to increase he will supply more and more of the commodity <coughs> producer was producing only 10 commodities look at this cursor uh, red cursor when the uh, quantity supplied was 10 uh, it if will increase its supply to 20 if the producer increases its supply from 10 to 20 to aap ye dekh rahe hain ki jab uski quantity supply zyada hogi to wo zyada produce karega to zyada produce karega to usko cost bhi kya aayegi zyada aayegi तो जब ज्यादा कॉस्ट आएगी तो वो ज्यादा कीमत पर ही बेचने को तैयार होगा ना कम कीमत पर तो बेचने को तैयार नहीं होगा पहले वो दस बना रहा था अब कितनी बना रहा है अब वो बीस बना रहा है जब दस ज्यादा चीजें बनाएगा तो ज्यादा चीजें बनाने पर ज्यादा लागत आएगी जब ज्यादा लागत आएगी तो ज्यादा कीमत पर बेचने को तैयार होगा सिमिलरली वी कैन एक्सप्लेन इट डेट वेन ई वॉज प्रोड्यूसिंग टेन नाउ इज प्रोड्यूसिंग ट्वेंटी वेन ही विल इंक्रीज इज प्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम टेन टू ट्वेंटी ही विल प्रोड्यूस टेन यूनिट मोर वेन ही विल प्रोड्यूस टेन यूनिट मोर he will charge more price because he has more cost of production so this is the reason that the supply curve has the positive slope the next is the assumption of the law assumption is uh, i have explained you earlier that the cost of production should not change if these assumption will violate the law will not hold so we need that cost of production should remain same if the cost of production will change Uh, producer at the uh, will not be offer for uh, sale at the higher prices uh, and if the cost of production decreases he will uh, offer for sale more at the low price for example aap dekhe na ki agar ek wo cheez for example 10 rupees ki bech raha tha usko 8 rupees mein cost karti thi wo 10 rupees ki bech raha tha lekin uski cost of production hi kam ho jati misal ke taur par raw material sasta ho jata hai तो अब उसको वो बॉल पेन जो है वो तैयार ही पाँच रुपये में हो रही है तो वो तो सात रुपये पर भी ज़्यादा बेचने को तैयार हो जाएगा जो कि पहले वो दस रुपये पर बेचने को तैयार था वो सात रुपये पर बेचने को तैयार हो जाएगा तो लॉ ऑफ सप्लाई विल नॉट होल्ड 
hence when the raw, uh, price of raw for raw material and other wage of la labor and interest of machinery will decrease law will not hold production technique should not change if a person was producing good at the old technique then its cost of production will be different if the technique will change he can produce bulk of the commodities and he will produce bulk of the commodities he will be he can offer more goods at low price so the law will not hold similarly natural resources uh, should not change you can study it and you will understand simply remember one thing the assumption means uh, these conditions should be fixed if this condition will not remain fixed or will change this means that in that case law of supply will not hold assumptions case mein agar ye cheeze change ho jayegi to qanoon apply nahi hoga isliye hum ye kehte hain ye fix rahegi ab aakhir mein hum ye dekhte hain ji ki iske andar rise aur fall ka kin hota hai rise in supply mein aap hamesha yaad rakhe jaise maine law of demand mein baat ki thi ki in case of rise in rise and fall we hold the price of the commodities remains same and we will see that due to any other factor means cost of production wages interest rate technology due to these factor supply will change this is called rise or fall in supply yani ke hum ye kehte hain ki shay ki apni keemat mein tabdili na ho balki dusri cheezon mein tabdili ki wajah se supply mein tabdili ho jaye jaisa ke cost of production change ho jati hai technology change ho jati hai raw material ki price kam ho jati hai koi wajah ban jati hai lekin apni keemat uski wohi rahe तब हम उसको कहते हैं राइज या फॉल अब हम राइज में देखते हैं लेट से वेन द प्राइस वॉज टू इट्स सप्लाई वॉज टेन वेन प्राइस वॉज टू ये देखे ये टू इट्स सप्लाई वॉज टेन नाउ प्राइस इज रिमेन सेम बट सप्लाई हैज इंक्रीज नाउ हियर द क्वेश्चन इज दैट वाई वाई द सप्लाई हैज इंक्रीज बिकॉज माइट बी देर इज अ चांस डेट द टेक्नोलॉजी हैज चेंज और कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन हैज चेंज नाउ ड्रॉ इट when the price was 2 quantity supply was 10 at this point there will be a single supply curve ss at this point ye jo point jis par cursor mein ghuma raha hu ye 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 point at this point there is ss supply curve ye ye supply curve theek ho gaya and price remains same but the quantity supply is 20 now this is the new point ye wala ek point new hai theek hai At this new point, we have new supply curve S dash S dash. ये वाली पूरी जिस पर कर्सर है. This means that supply has increased. And if we will study for the supply, that the price has remained same, but the supply has decreased. Let's see. When the price was two, supply was twenty. When the price remained same, but the supply has reduced to ten. Now here you can say that when the price was two. quantity was 20 price was 2 quantity was 20 we will have this point here at this ye yes, circle but at this point we will draw this supply curve ss <coughs> now the price is same but the quantity supply is 10 now new point will be this come at this point at this point we will have this supply curve s dash s dash so this means that this is the fall in supply thank you